the history of printing goes back much farther than the first printing presses. It actually started around 3000 BCE, when people would stamp clay tablets to certify documents. Stamps were the original signatures. I was thinking I would make a stamp to represent me. I haven't spent much time thinking about this stamp, but I jotted down a few ideas and, and I thought I could make my initials BF. To add an image to my initials, I'll put an arrow pointing to the right under the two letters. This piece of stamp material is meant to be carved away to create a rubber stamp. It sort of feels like an eraser, and actually, erasers would work great if you happen to have those. I'll draw BF on the stamp material and will carve away those letters using this sharp tool. It's really sharp. What can I do to make sure I stay safe using this tool? Do you have some ideas? I'm thinking I'll carve away from myself, keeping my hands clear of the blade. When I'm not using the tool, I'll put it down carefully. And if the blade falls out, make sure you call your teacher over. Don't try to fix the tool yourself. As I carve, I know I don't need to dig very deeply. Carving shallow or deeply will not look any different in the final imprint. I can switch tools if I need more detail, like in this section. Always think to yourself, where will the blade go if my hand slips? If the answer is your finger, then turn the block or do something to move your finger out of the way and stay safe. Your teacher will explain the process for switching from wide to narrow tools. This part is actually 10 times faster than I was actually carving. Work slowly and carefully so you won't hurt yourself or anyone else. Some people use regular ink pads to stamp, and others use printmaking ink or even paint rolled onto a smooth surface. If you use one of these rollers, called a brayer, make sure you roll on an area barely larger than the stamp itself. This will take very little ink. It's wasteful to roll an area a lot larger than the stamp. Here's my first draft of the stamp. I'm hoping that when I stamp this, I'll get the letters B and F in black with an arrow pointing to the right. Do you think that's what will happen? Pause the video to draw or discuss what you think will actually happen. What will the print look like? Will I get the B and F in black with an arrow pointing to the right? Wow, are you surprised? The letters are reversed and the arrow is pointing to the left and all the letters are white. They're not black. The background is black. What I carved away is white. Oh, I'll need to revise my stamp. But you know, that's what happens with creative projects. We design, we evaluate, and we revise. Fortunately, I can flip the rubber material over and make a new stamp there. Actually, I could make narrow stamps on the four edges, too. Six stamps out of one block. This time, I'll make sure to reverse my letters and carve away the background, the part I want to be white. Original letters were kind of simple, so I printed BF using different fonts on the computer, and I think I want this one. And I'll make sure that I add the arrow pointing left so that when it prints, it prints to the right. Oh, that's so weird. I'm going to test an idea that if I put pencil uh, graphite on the back of the paper and flip it over, then when I trace the letters, maybe it'll transfer to the rubber material. Oh, check it out. It transfers really well. 
That way I can get an exact uh, duplicate of what I drew on the material itself. So here's my new stamp. I'm hoping that when I stamp this one, I'll again get the letters B and F in black with an arrow pointing to the right. Do you think that's what will happen this time? Pause the video to either draw or discuss what you think will happen this time. Oh, hey, it worked. The B and F are not reversed this time, and the arrow really does point to the right, and the letters are all in black. Hmm, I see some areas that I need to revise, but that's expected. That's easy to do. Just wipe off the ink, carve away the areas that you want white, and print again. Repeat that as often as you need. Keep looking for areas to revise. As I made this project, I was surprised that my expectations and what happened were different. I realized I have beginning level carving skills and I expected it would be easier than it was. Making curves and details was challenging for me. Are you expecting this is going to be easy or challenging for you? What will you choose to do if things don't proceed as you first expected? You know, now that I've made my stamp, I'm not sure my initials BF are really the best way to represent myself. There's so many images that might better represent me. I could use an image to represent my hobbies or my goals or my values. My initials are a good starting point, but now I'm thinking about my next stamp. What about you? What would represent you?